Well, welcome to the first 2017 A uh, Few Minutes with the Mayor. My name is Damian Graham. I'm a communications director with the city, and we are joined by Mayor Nancy McFarlane once again. Hi. And uh, we are actually filming this one in your office. That's I don't right. think uh, a lot of folks get a chance to see the inside. The, is it clean? Uh, it's clean. Okay, uh, good. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> and um, so we appreciate you taking time to sure, let us in. To. Um, lots of exciting activity kicking off the new year. Um, but one of the biggest developments actually took place at the end of the fall where we passed a local referendum for a transit uh, right. investment. So um, it can get complicated pretty quickly, but can you just share with us what are some of the transit investments that are in the transit plan and when can we actually see some things on the road? Well, you're right, it, it does get complicated pretty quickly. Um, you know, the first priority is going to be increasing the number and uh, frequency of stops of the bus system. And that's everything from taking stops to a lot of it are going to go to a 15 minute headway because frankly, if you only come once an hour, it's kind of hard to get to work and do a lot of things. So um, there's a lot of uh, uh, improvement in that area, which of course means we have to get more buses. And it takes a year to get a bus, <laughs> once you order, to order it, a bus, to yeah. really get a bus. So we couldn't order them until after we knew the referendum was going to pass. And I think now we're really working through all the routes. I mean, they had a pretty good idea before, but now it's the hard reality of how many do we have to purchase and what's it going to cost. And um, and then, of course, uh, there's uh, we're looking for improvements in commuter rail, too. I think the buses are the first stop, but like I said, it'll probably be a year and a half before we really start seeing the really buses on the road. Start seeing that, you know. And commuter rail is a much longer term uh, it, project. It is, you know, we're still working on Union Station and that's something that we'll be working on in conjunction obviously with the other two counties to see how we can step that up. But there's, there's a lot of moving pieces to it, but it's clearly something that this uh, area needs very badly. Absolutely. Uh, well, also speaking about growth is uh, Dorothea Dix Park, which is near and dear to your heart. Uh, where are we with that planning process? So we are in the process, the executive committee is in the process of interviewing for our lead designer and design team. And let me ask, who is executive committee? Is uh, that executive a committee is uh, the mayor, the mayor pro tem. We have three members of the um, Dix Park Conservancy, the chancellor of NC State, the head of um, parks and recreation and the head of planning okay. from the city. So uh, we put out an RFP and got 18 responses from all over the world. It's amazing. We went through all of those, narrowed it down to six, and brought six in for interviews and narrowed it down to four. <laughs> and so those four are coming back probably it's it's mid-February, I think. And they're really going to present not really what they think the park should be, but more of a process. How are they going to go through the process? Because we know if for Raleigh, citizen input is really important. And we have set up this advisory group that's, I think, about 45 people. And each of those is going to have sub-working groups that anybody can engage in. And, and a big piece of even our first interviews was all about community engagement. You know, what experience did they have? What methods did they see? What have they seen done that was successful and not so successful? So I think all of these teams understand that that's really important to this community. Mm -hmm. and, and so the goal is to bring these folks on uh, by springish summer? And yeah, after we do... Um, the interview of the four. <laughs> I hope we can knock Thank it you. down to one. I mean, they're all great. It's a great problem to have. They're all so good that it's it's really hard to. Well, it's a good problem to have. It is a really good problem to have. So we're very fortunate. And so, Mayor, this this uh, section that they're working on, though, the that sort of pre-planning mm -hmm. process, is how long? Uh, is it a couple years? Uh, well, I think the whole master planning process will probably take a couple years after okay. we get them going and it's um, you know in looking at the resumes of the other of all of these design firms I mean we have everything from the people that did the High Line to 
Governor's Island to Memorial and Houston. Some of these are 14, you know, 100 acre parks. Some of them are small. I mean, it's a very eclectic group, but we are able to kind of see how long those processes have taken. But the master planning process will be, you know, an overall master plan. You know, that will be implemented, you know, decades. Sure. To really get, and we'll, you know, start when DHHS is moving off or when we have control of certain areas and see how we can start to implement it once that plan is done. It's an ongoing process. I don't, you know, it will actually probably never end. Well, <laughs> but we're getting started and that's the exciting part. So we are the beginning of a new year and yes. you never know what's around the corner. I mean, that's, that's uh, for sure. That's, that's <laughs> the truth. So, and that was certainly the case this time last year. And there was a lot of headlines uh, over the course of the year about, um, uh, what was going on between the state legislature and municipalities. And I thought it was uh, worth asking, how is uh, local government different from state government and how do we work together or try to work together? Maybe share something about that. Well, local government is very different from state government, but I, th I think that there's one key difference that a lot of people may not know, and that is that North Carolina is what's called a Dillon state. And many states in the country are what's called a home rule state. So in a Dillon state, municipalities are created by the state. We are creatures of the state and they give us whatever authority we have. So really, you know, the only tool we have for revenue is we have some, you know, fees and things, but we have property taxes. And that's why when we had a transit referendum, we had to go to the legislature and ask them for the ability to have that because we can't just decide to have a sales tax. South Carolina is a home rule state. So Joe Riley, who was the mayor of Charleston for 40 years, had the ability to use many different tools when they decided they wanted to renovate Charleston and turn it into this amazing, you know, destina tourist destination. They have more more tools readily available they to them. Themselves. They can decide themselves. And so I think that's where you see a lot of the conflict that keeps making the news because, you know, this North Carolina, like states around the country, more people are moving to the cities. And the cities are really the, you know, more and more the economic engines of the state. And that means that the needs of the city are very different than the rural areas, and the rural areas are suffering. I mean, there are a lot of rural parts of North Carolina. They've seen businesses leave, and so here you have a state legislature that's trying to create rules for everybody, and what we really want, I, I would say, as a mayor of a large city, is to just be at, at the table and just be part of the conversation. And, uh, you know, we, we have a, a good relationship with our uh, Wake County delegation, and um, it, it's just all about keeping those lines of, communications, of communication open and developing personal relationships with, with people and being able to sit down and talk through things, so. Well, it'll certainly be an interesting year. Yes. Uh, and lots of activity. <laughs> so as we're, we close, just closed out the year, and so let me finish this uh, with, a, what did you do for New Year's Eve? Uh, I went to first night. First night I did. There. I went to first night. I did the parade. Um, uh, went to Oro, which is a great restaurant, and then went to hear a couple bands good for you. that were good. I wasn't out too late. I was asleep <laughs> by 9.30, so I'm, I'm pretty boring. Well, Mayor, we always appreciate you taking time to sure. spend uh, with Thanks. us and also letting us come into your office, which is Anytime. great. Anytime. Anytime. Um, so we will see you next time. Awesome.